Good morning everyone and welcome to another landscape photography adventure up here in Scotland and I'm at Glen Creran. Now Glen Creran is a lovely little circular walk through some woodland and there's a little hidden gem. I'm on the hunt for fairies. What a spectacular area of woodland this is. Very, very mossy, ancient trees, bubbling brooks, fallen, decaying logs. That's a beautiful spot. Well, I'm actually in search of the Fairy Bridge. Now this is one beautiful location. It's a gorgeous, I think it was supposed to have been built in 1500. Uh, so 700 year old bridge with a stream or river running through it. And it's, it's like something off the movies. You're gonna love this. Well, we're ascending uphill and I'm on the lookout for a hidden path and that should take us to where we want to go. But there are a few little paths that come off, so I hope I'll get the right one. Otherwise I could end up anywhere. All right, I found it. Oh, this is amazing. Spin your hand. Look at this. Oh. Well, so this is the fairy bridge. And trust me, if, there, if any fairies do come along, I, I will have a go at photographing them. But uh, I think I'll just be taking photographs of the fairy bridge, to be honest. Hopefully there's no trolls under there either. Hello. Seven hundred years ago, this was built. Wow, I have no idea where they were going though, because that would be the path, <laughs> as far as I can tell. And looking at it, but yeah, pretty much a walking bridge. There's no uh, no way you're getting a cart over this. I can't imagine a horse would like it either. Yeah, but what a stunning place! Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm chuffed to bits, chuffed to bits. I thought I wasn't going to find it, really did. So you've got a really nice set of waterfalls coming down from there. That's a big log pile in there, like a beaver's built a dam. So you've got one, two, three sections at least. Then you've got the bridge. And then of course, where it outflows to, another one, two, three, three or four cascades. Oh. 
this could be good. Just got to keep that sky out of the shots and I'll be all right. But looking at it, that shouldn't be a problem. Right, let's crack on. Well, I quite like this angle, but unfortunately we've got a fallen tree here now. This one there. And all its little branches are sticking out into the shot. So I can't quite get an angle that I like. If it didn't have those tiny little branches on it, it would be amazing. I'd use it as a kind of lead in line. But I want to get the waterfall that's at the back of the bridge under the bridge. So I might have to go over the other side for this shot. So I've taken one from here anyway. Um, I've managed to get the tripod out as far as I can reach into the river. This is a well is this is a wader's job, I'll be quite honest. It's probably just about up to your knees. I think it works. Yeah, I, I think this one works, but I still need to get it from the other side. So as I'm on this side of the river, I thought I'll check out what's in the closer foreground. And without <laughs> getting down into there, which in the middle of summer would probably be feasible, but not in the middle of February. I don't think there's an angle, not from here. I'm cutting off half a waterfall in the background, so that doesn't work. But what I have noticed is down there, it may be possible to get a clear shot of the bridge, get in the extra cascade, Don't know. So I'm going to have to cross that side because that's clearly the better side for the uh, photography. If I don't fall in the river. Okay, so I've been over, as I'm looking at it now, the left side of the bridge and I've got what I can. It's the deadfall, that's what's causing the issues with the amount of angles you can get. So now I'm going to work my way down, as I'm looking at it now, the right hand side of the bridge. And I, there's probably one, two more sections I can do. Um, I think that one's going to be a close up. I won't be too close to it, particularly for a limitation of 24 millimeters on the lens. Anyway. We'll find out. Well, this is a better angle down here on it. Obviously, we got the fallen tree and we got this tree on the right, which I can live with, I can live with. But I am getting a better view of the bridge itself and the cascades. I feel a little bit better composed in the frame. Hopefully, you can actually hear me over this water. Right, so this is going to be the last shot from underneath here. I've basically got right up close to it, so I've eliminated the spiky bits on top of the arch, and I'm just trying to get a shot of the waterfall looking through the bridge. Very colourful. The problem I'm having is the ferns are moving in the breeze, so it's taken ages waiting for them to settle and try and get one. I think I've got one sharp, so hopefully that should be all good. Right, time for me to get away from this noise so that I can talk properly. Well, what an amazing, beautiful place this is. 
It truly is like the land of the fairies, mystical and magical. I've thoroughly enjoyed it and hopefully I've come away with some shots that uh, I like. I'd like to have been able to get further down the river, but unfortunately the amount of deadfall that's across it now is just completely blocked views, so I couldn't. It would be nice to get more and more tiers of cascades as I work my way down. But I'm happy with what I got. And I'm going to leave you guys there because I'm going to wander off and I'm going to head back to those other falls and I'm going to see if I can grab a picture there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And if I do, I'll put them up now for you. Well, as pretty as it is to look at, I can't make anything out of it. I think I've been spoiled by what's down the other side. Yeah, too much deadfall. <laughs>